Welcome back. Is buying an apartment complex a good investment? Welcome back. Is buying an apartment complex a good investment? That's what I'm going to be talking about today. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Michael Sleen, the discount property investor. I have purchased over 150 single family properties using the Burr method, a way that we acquire rental properties using little to none of our own money. Not something we invented, but something I'd say we perfected. Uh, as again, we put almost nothing of our own money into these after we've refinanced and refinanced again, uh, certain things like that. So again, we are doing pretty well and we share all of that knowledge with you if you're interested in learning more at the freelandlordcourse.com. Check that out, www.freelandlordcourse.com. And again, we go over the Burr method, give you some examples of all the properties that we've acquired. Uh, all right, so today what we're gonna answer though is, is buying an apartment complex a good investment? So uh, I'm gonna talk about some of the pros and some of the cons of that. And uh, let's jump right in here. All right, we've got some benefits. Okay, so day one, you're gonna see a higher cash flow, right? Because you've got multiple units that you've acquired all at once. So instead of a, you know, one single family property, I was acquiring these one at a time, you could acquire 10, 20, 30, or 40 property, I mean, or more units all at once. Uh, so again, you're gonna have a lot more units. Uh, so with that, again, is a lot more cash flow potentially. Uh, they're also, or at least traditionally, a little bit more affordable in construction and in acquisition because you've got multiple units under one roof. So some of the construction cost is shared among things. Now, uh, again, there are some things that you can contradict that with. Uh, newer construction uh, building requirements. Uh, again, may increase the cost. So there's some, some pros and cons, but traditionally apartment units are a little bit less expensive than the uh, single family homes in the area on a per unit basis. Uh, they're a little bit easier to manage. This is another reason it's a pretty good, good investment. Uh, and easier is a, uh, it, it depends on how you look at it. They're easier from a, uh, geography perspective and you've got multiple units in one spot but you don't have um well you're going to have different issues let's just put it like that so with an apartment complex you're going to have a lot more neighbor to neighbor issues which may cause uh more work for your manager there and you may have more um turnover so that is another thing that we we see more commonly in our multi-units uh, we, I think the biggest one that we had was a 12 unit and uh, we bought and sold that. We flipped a number of multi-units as well. But again, uh, one of them I'm thinking of right now is just a four family. So it's hardly even a multi-family and the neighbors are just going after each other. So again, it's easier to manage from a geography perspective, especially if you have a large apartment complex, you know, over probably 40 or 50 doors. Uh, that's when you're getting to the point where you can have an on-site, possibly property manager or at least maintenance crew. Uh, person there. Uh, I mean, 100 units is definitely that point. Uh, so again, you can you can centralize your driving and your your uh, maintenance calls. You know, just of that one area. Uh, there's tax breaks. So obviously, with all real estate, you get tax advantages. You get to deduct uh, mortgage interest on those, and again, all sorts of different um, things, such as the um, depreciation. You get to depreciate the asset as well. Uh, they also have a high appreciation rate. So like most real estate, they're going to increase in value, not quite as fast as the single families usually right around them. But again, nothing certain, but they do appreciate or tend to appreciate at a higher rate. So another reason why buying an apartment complex is a good investment. Um, it's less risky of an investment. And what do we mean by that? Well, I mean that you've got multiple people paying you as opposed to just one person paying you. So let's look at a uh, four family, just for simplicity. Four family, you've got four different people that are helping pay the mortgage. So most likely uh, two of them are gonna have covered the debt service. And the third one is probably gonna pay for 
uh, CapEx and maintenance. And then the last one is gonna be most likely your profit. So about 50% to debt service, 25% for management and maintenance, and then 25% uh, potentially profit. That's very rough numbers. So if you have one person not paying in a four family, you're still covering all the expenses of the property. Whereas in a single family, if you don't have anyone paying that single family, it's not being covered. You have to cover that cost. Uh, so again, it's a, another thing that is positive about having multi units or apartment complexes. The last one is you can build your investment portfolio faster. I mentioned earlier that um, we had acquired over 150 units and it took us about, I'd say three years uh, all told. I'm, I'm not really good with time. My wife can attest to that. Um, but again, it was a lot of work and it takes a lot of time. And I think that's much faster than most people acquire that many units. So building an apartment portfolio can happen much more quickly. You can have a lot more doors under your um, control much more quickly. Uh, now on the flip side of that, there are cons too. Obviously it's gonna take a little bit more cash to get started. So a lot of loans or the lenders are gonna do commercial loans on these and you're gonna end up, uh, they're gonna be asking for a little bit more down and they might wanna have someone with a little bit more experience. So again, they may not necessarily want to lend to someone starting out. So there's pros and cons to each one, but an apartment complex is a good investment in my opinion. Uh, 2021, we're seeing incredible growth in real estate, at least at the beginning of the year, we still are. And again, I, I, in all of our circles, I've not talked to anyone who is really saying that they're expecting to see a major correction in the short term. So I still believe it's a good time to buy. And that's what we're actively doing. We're still buying single families and uh, some multifamilies haven't really stepped it up to the apartment complexes yet because we like to stick to what we know. And what we know is single families and we're making it work using that Burr method. Check out the free landlord course if you're more interested in that. Uh, we have Burred a 10 unit apartment uh, complex. So again, that would be a way that you could apply that to this apartment space. Uh, so yeah, check it out guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned anything from this video, I'd appreciate it if you would like it, share it, or subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Have a good one.